This is incredibly important. We've been working on this since at least May of last year, pushing it, getting other representatives on board, talking to folks, making sure they understand the implications of covering our first responders. And absolutely, our communities are a little bit more safe today because we know that our first responders are going to be able to gain access to care for injuries sustained on the job that affect their mental health. So this is the biggest crowd I've ever seen in the government's office. Yeah. This is the culmination of a lot of very emotional testimony. Yeah. Uh, and many on the floors. Um, why has this struck such a chord? First responders have a really tough job. They see things that you and I only see in our nightmares, and sometimes they see multiple nightmares on a daily basis. The problem with that is there was nowhere for them to go unless they had a concurrent physical injury. And so first responders have some of the highest substance abuse rates, they have some of the highest divorce rates, they have some of the highest suicide ideation rates in the entire country. Their field is the one that struggles the most. By talking about this and making this something that they can receive workman's compensation for, it makes them healthier, their families healthier, and our communities safer. And you also, and sort of along those lines, you mentioned uh, during your speech that this also opens the door to a broader discussion about mental health. I'm excited that the first responders came forward and said, listen, we have challenges in our workplace. We have challenges that we need to deal with and we need access to professionals to help us work through this. This opens the door to the larger conversation of what do we want for mental health in our communities? What, how are we going to talk about PTSI and other forms of psychological injuries? And I'm really excited that they're on the forefront of that because this not only makes them healthier, but this opens the conversation about mental health in the state of Idaho.